Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the Apex Legends error code 0x87A0006 DXGL error device hung. So DXGI error device hung. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So go ahead and select the search icon. Type in RegEdit. Best result should come back with Registry Editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select Run as Administrator. If you receive the User Account Control Prompt, select Yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I'd recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now we're ready to begin. So start by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. Same thing for control, so double click on that. Should be a graphics drivers folder. Just left click on that one time. And if you need to see the file path up at the top of the screen, you can see it right here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So anyway, now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new, and then select DWORD 32 bit value. Name this value TDR level. So again, TDR level. T and TDR and the L and level should be capitalized, so only two capital letters here. Go ahead and hit enter. Now you want to double click on this value. Make sure base is set to hexadecimal and you want to make sure it's set to zero in here. So if there already was a value in here with that name, just double click on it and set it to a zero value like you see it on my screen. And then once you're done with that, you will have to close out of here and go restart your computer. And then hopefully that has resolved the problem. If you're still having an issue, one further thing we can attempt here would be to open up the search menu, type in device manager, best result, should come back with device manager. Go ahead and open that up. Double click on the display adapter section to expand it. Right click on your display adapter listed under here and select update driver. Select browse my computer for drivers and then select, let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Select the manufacturer specific one, otherwise just select the generic driver and then select next. And then give it a moment here. And then once that's done, close out of here. Let's just restart your computer once again. And hopefully that has resolved your problem. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.